In this video, we are going to look at the concept of arcanes for chemistry. Right, so after going through this video, you will know the basic information about arcanes for chemistry. So ensure you stay to the very end of this video. Having known that, let's go into the details of the video. So we're looking at arcanes. So as we all know that arcanes, they are an lymphatic hydrocarbons. Okay. Now, note that arcanes, let's look at the properties of arcanes now. Arcanes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They have a double carbon carbon bond in their structure. So they have a double carbon carbon bond in their structure. Now, know that the first four arcanes we have in the families of arcanes, the first four we have include, we have our 18. We also have our protein. We also have our butane. We have our pentane. So these are the first four arcanes we have. We have our eighteen. We have our propane. We have our butane. Now we have our pentane. The are the members of the first four arcane family. Now, note that we have the general formula for arcanes to be CnH2n. In other words, you can see that 18 has two carbon atoms. So since it has two carbon atoms, the formula will be C2H4. We apply it here, whereas propane has three carbon atoms so it will be the formula for propane will be c3 h6 that of protein will be c4 h8 that of pentane will be c5 h10 in this order now if we want to do the structure of 18 the structure of 18 we take this shape So they are all saturated hydrocarbons. They are not saturated with hydrogen atoms. This is the structure of ethyl. Whereas if we want to draw the structure of propane, it's going to look something like this. Let me wipe the structure of ethyl. Before I wipe it, note that this double bond in the middle indicates that this is an arcane. So it has double bond in this structure. So let's wipe this. Now for propane, if we want to draw the structure of propane, our right, propane has three carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. So the structure will look like this. So this is an unsaturated hydrocarbon the hydrogen atom is many one we have put six so far on this structure so it's many one now this remaining one you can either put it here or you can choose to put it here either way will be correct all right but let's put it up so this will give you the structure of propane what of the structure of butane? If you want to do the structure, let me show you how you do the structure of butane. As usual, this double bond here shows that this is an arcane. Let's wipe this. Now, if you want to do the structure of butane, butane has four carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. So the structure of butane is going to look like this. Okay, so we have. All right, the remaining two hydrogen atoms, you can then come and attach it here. So this will be the structure of butane. Now, another way you can draw the structure of butane, you can choose to draw it like this. Let me wipe this and show you. Another way you can draw the structure of butane is like this. You can choose to 
put the double button at the extreme instead of putting it at the middle. Okay, so we're going to have this structure. We have three, four, five, six, seven. Now the remaining eight, you can choose to put it here down, or you can choose to put it up. Either way will work. All right, so this will be the structure of protein. Before we call this a class, let's wipe this and look at the combustion of arcanes. So let's wipe this. We are looking at combustion of arcanes. Now note that in a large amount of oxygen, arcanes combust completely to produce only water and carbon for oxide as products. Whereas if there is no enough oxygen in the air, the combustion of arcanes will be incomplete now note that incomplete combustion of arcanes will still produce carbon dioxide and water as product but you can also get carbon and carbon monoxide as we all know carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas so take note of this when arcanes we are sweet oxygen We are going to have the products to be carbon four oxide or carbon dioxide. Plus water. That's H2O. We also have carbon monoxide and carbon if the combustion is incomplete. So carbon monoxide is CO and carbon. If the combustion is what incomplete also as we all know that in the process of combustion energy is what released so this is the basic information you have to know about arcanes for your chemistry the combustion of arcanes when the combustion is complete that when there is enough or excess oxygen in air carbon dioxide and water will be produced as the two dot whereas when the combustion is incomplete carbon dioxide and water will also be produced together with this carbon monoxide and carbon you can also get all right that's the basic information helps in about these arcanes for chemistry under hydrocarbons now know that before we end the class eventually know that arcanes are more reactive than arcanes so they react more than arcanes all right so arcanes are more reactive than arcanes so take note of this information arcanes are more reactive than arcanes so let's go to the class here hope this something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel ensure you check the description of this video below see link to our telegram channel click on it and join the telegram channel for instant notification also ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, comment on this video. Tell me how you keep on watching and learn from this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding this topic, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will be sure to give your response. Now I click on the end screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.